Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be the video summary of episode 8 of the ICT Mentorship 2022. Please refer to ICT original content. This is just a reminder if you have gone through the episode and you would like a little refresh before going to the next one. In this episode, we are going to be talking about institutional order flow, forex markets and Fibonacci retracements. So let's get started. First and foremost, to set up your Fibonacci as ICT advice us to do, I made a step-by-step -step video on how to do so in TradingView and I'm going to put the link in the description below. Let me give you an overview of this episode. The most important thing when we are trading is being able to predict or to have a feeling or to have an expectation of where the price is going next. The main question that we always ask ourselves is, is the price going to close higher or lower at the end of the day, of the week or of that month? ICT to answer to that question uses different logics and different levels of analysis so that he is able to say, okay, I believe that the price is going to go higher or I believe that the price is going to go lower. Following ICT techniques, what we are trying to do is combining those different logics and combining those different levels of analysis so that we can set our expectations and say, okay, I believe that the price is going to go higher or I believe that the price is going to go lower. To do so, ICT uses, for example, higher time frames. So he's going to go on the daily or on the weekly and analyze where the price has been and then set his expectation of where the price could be going. ICT is also going to be looking at liquidity, liquidity levels that the price and the algorithm is going to be targeting and it's also going to give him an indication if the price wants to go higher or lower. In another one of ICT series, he also talks about the commitment of traders report, just to give you an example, and he tells how to use it and how to set your expectations about where the price could be going with that tool. In this episode specifically, where we focus on Forex, he's going to be using Fibonacci retracements and currency futures to set his expectations of where the price will be going next. So guys, remember, these tools should be used in combination and they need to be combined with all the other different levels of analysis that we already know to be able to actually set an expectation of where the price is going. So let's get started. If, like myself and ICT, you use TradingView, it had for sure happened to you maybe at the beginning when you were selecting your currency to be trading and to look at, to find yourself with a long list in TradingView of different currencies and data providers. And maybe you have wondered, okay, but which one to choose? ICT goes for Forex.com. He doesn't use Oanda, at least in this example. And I'm going to be doing the same. Considering that today we're going to be talking about Forex, Michael gives us an example and he's going to be using a Forex pair, such as Euro JPY. Michael personally says that he actually doesn't like to trade JPY pairs because they have a specific pattern. They usually return twice to a specific level before actually hitting it off and he doesn't like that personally. That doesn't mean that we cannot trade JPY pairs. It simply means that as for everything else that we have been learning so far, we need to backtest it and learn the specific behavior of that specific pair. We are looking at Euro JPY and ICT gives us this screenshot and he asks us to do our own markups. So if you want, you can stop the video here for a moment and do your own markups or you can proceed with me and we're going to do them together. So we are here and we are looking at Euro JPY. We are looking at a one day time frame and we are going to be searching for the highs and the lows and those are going to become our buy side liquidity and our sell side liquidity. When we are done with buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity, the second thing that we can go and search for are fair value gaps. And you can see a couple of them highlighted here in green. 
As usual, remember, the price is drawn by liquidity or it is attracted towards an imbalance. Now we have done our markups and let's proceed. Let's zoom in towards the 10th of February 2022, which is the day in which ICT is showing us this example. And let's start by setting our time frame at the 15 minutes. And let's start looking at the graph a little bit. What do you observe? ICT tells us that on the 10th of February, what's important and interesting for us as traders is that run up, run high, high up of the price that happens. And so we should be looking closer at what has happened right before that. Guys, our focus is in learning on how to catch those big movements of the price and so for us it's important to see what has happened right before the price has skyrocketed and make that big move and to look at it more closely we move our time frame from the 50 minutes to the five minutes what is kind of interesting is highlighted in this red area here the price is really going low high low high and it has having a big movements and a quite a big range so let's check it out and let's also always look at the time at which that is happening. ICT tells us that from 7 a.m. in the morning until 10 a.m. in the morning, always New York local time, we should sign it with vertical lines on our graph because that's the New York kill zone. That's the moment in which the New York session trades are forming. After we sign it on the map and we notice the area in first red and now slightly yellowish on the charts, we are going to switch from the 5 minutes time frame to the 3 minutes time frame. What do we actually see here? Let's observe and let's do it in chronological order. In point A, the price is actually taking out an older low. And then in point B, the price runs higher and it takes out a previous high. Now the big question for us, when the price does that, is it forming a fair value gap? And the answer is yes. We can see a big fair value gap forming there. Now, when we see a fair value gap, we stop just a second and we start thinking, how do we know where the price will actually go next? If we look at this day, there is no clear signal that the price should go higher or lower because there is really not a previous level to which the price should be drawn to if and only if we are looking at only this day. That is one of the reasons why higher time frames are so important because for sure if we take a higher time frame we would be able to find some levels and some imbalances, some liquidity pools to which the price would for sure be attracted to. But there is another way. If you feel like you need another confirmation, ICT tells us that there is a, I don't know, I kind of want to say that it's almost a trick that we can be using. So let me say that it's kind of a trick that we can be using to see where the price would go next. Let's zoom out and let's see what the price was doing during that day. We see that the point one is actually the interesting point for us where the price did this fuzzy move and formed a fair value gap. What's before that? In point B, we see the high of the day to which we are actually quite close to. And so it's not that interesting for us at that moment. In point A, we see the lower point of that day and it also is not extremely interesting for us in this moment, considering where the price is right now. So now we know our range and we have get to know it by looking back. But where is the price going to go? Where can the price actually reach to? It tells us that we can proceed as follows. We zoom out, we find the low of the day, the high of the day, and we have our fair value gap and the interesting moment of that day for us. Then he tells us that we can apply the Fibonacci retracement tool from the low of the day to the high to have an idea to which level the price will be targeting to. So ICT uses the Fibonacci retracement tool in TradingView and he sets his low here and he's high here. 
The Fibonacci retracement is amazing because in this case it will show us directly where the price is targeting to, what level the price is going for. ICT tells us that to set up the Fibonacci as he set it up, we can look at his OTE primer series on YouTube and if you feel a little bit lazy you can also check the video that I did on Fibonacci retracement settings on TradingView and redo them exactly the same as ICT. I'm going to link it down in the description below. The million dollar question, where is the price going? What level is the price targeting? To answer to that question, ICT always refers to higher time frames and he links always the macroeconomic setting for the price for that specific currency. As for example, here he tells us to look at where the euro futures are going, in this case they are going higher, and we should set our bias and our expectation for the price to actually be going higher for the euro JPY pair. We can check that on TradingView by searching for 6E1 and 6J1, respectively for the euro futures and the Japanese futures. Guys, keep going, this is the way. Guys, remember, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Keep going, keep up the hard work, this is the way.